Yeah, it just flew in. Juvenile exhibitor. And I'm checking out and see if we can put the hackles up on the back of the head. And if they can, that's a Cooper Hawk. Sharp shins can't do that, so. That's what I'm checking out. I've seen this bird here before. This is his favorite hunting spot. Now, the tail's fanned out, but there's not much curve to it. That's another sign of the sharp shin. But I'm not getting a very good view here, so I'll come in a little bit more. Try to figure this guy out. So we'll watch for the head, see if they got the hackles up. This is a juvenile, got the spots in the back. It's foggy. It's 28 degrees. But the fog's starting to lift now, so. We'll try to figure out what we got here. It's either a sharp shin or a cooper's hawk. When we get it on the big screen, we'll know. Like I said, I come here a lot, and I've seen this bird several times. Still don't have the hackles up on the back of the head. I see not much curve in the tail either. I think we probably got a sharp shin. I'll watch him preen up a little bit. Working away. But this is a, right at the turnaround, Fragger Road South and it's on 204 Street. That's where the turnaround is, and I park here and he just happened to sail in here. And he gets a lot of birds. He's on top of the pole the other day, a telephone pole, but the crows chased him away with his prey. I was coming up there and the feathers were floating down and <laughs> looking through the windshield. They got turned around to get set up and the crows run them off. Yeah, I looked over here a little bit. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to get this one on the pole when he had the bird and the feathers were flying, so... And I've seen him on other occasions hunting here. This is his favorite spot. He lands there a lot in that thicket. And I've seen him when I've driven up the road and he'll fly into the thicket and gone, so. Best bet so far is juvenile sharp shin. Here we go. Tail fanned again, not much curve to it. Ackles are not up. Pretty cool. The puddles are all frozen. Got down to about 28 degrees last night. Well, we got a lot of sticks in the way, limbs and twigs, but that's fine. We're in focus. We're looking pretty good. I've been wanting to get a good shot of this guy. Few other birds flitting around, sparrows and stuff, and when it's foggy like this, it gives this bird an advantage, surprise. Alright, then I think we can call that pretty much good. Looking around, trying to find something to chase after. He's law, as soon as I turn it off, he'll fly. <laughs> All right, still preening up. And we'll get it on the big screen. We'll figure out what we got. You know, it's either a sharp shin or a cooper's hawk. Good looking bird, it's a juvenile. And 
getting those feathers in shape and ready for the today's hunt. <laughs> it was funny the other day, I landed on top of the pole, the feathers are flying, he just said caught the bird and then the crows run him off. We'll see how he does. can see a lot down through here. He's looking for a bird that would be vulnerable, and he'll try to catch it. Call that good for now. <laughs> 